My name is Doug Foster. I'm co-founder of Orox Brewing Company, and this is my celiac story. I was diagnosed with celiac disease at the age of five. I'm 36 now, I like to joke, I haven't missed too many meals, so I've gotten the diet part figured out. I was so fortunate that my mom and dad and my grandmother were so attentive and relentless in helping to pursue that official celiac disease diagnosis. I was five years old, I had gotten really sick, stopped growing, wasn't eating any of the foods that most kids like to eat, and after about almost two years, I received a positive diagnosis. When I changed my diet over, all of that started to change pretty quickly. It has certainly been a big part of who I am and a big part of my experience. It's even how I met my wife. So back in the 90s when I was diagnosed with celiac disease as a kid, it was a whole different ball game. It was rare to even meet somebody else who was diagnosed with celiac disease or, or anybody that knew anybody who was following a, a gluten-free diet. It wasn't something people were familiar with. Over time that changed and evolved and you started to see an increase in the diagnosis rate as, as the ease of testing improved and the realization that the way that this impacts a larger percentage of the, of the population than maybe originally thought Coincidentally, the change in, in growth of the consumer packaged goods that were available to people with celiac disease or medically required to follow a gluten-free diet has also evolved, and certainly for the better. There's a lot of really great stuff out there. Back in the day, it wasn't necessarily the case. Something might be shaped like a pretzel or shaped like a bagel, but it didn't mean that it really tasted or, or functioned like that. Growing up, celiac disease definitely made me stand out amongst my friends and the fact that I was following a, a unique diet. And, and so I definitely got, got teased a little bit by my group of friends. Fortunately, I, I guess fortunately, everybody kind of got theirs one way or the other. Mine was about being gluten-free. I know one time I was changing for, uh, for football and I got pelted with rolls from the cafeteria. They called them wheat bombs. I know a lot of people have had difficult diagnosis process is not something that, that they like to joke about. I was fortunate that for me, I was able to grow up healthy and follow this diet. I guess when you deal with it when you're 16 years old, you try to joke about it and bring some levity to the situation. Probably the most challenging part of my celiac story was when I went away to college. You know, at 18, I obviously knew everything and it was more important to be a part of the what was happening socially than it was to to follow my diet. I started to, to cut corners and get kind of lazy instead of asking what's in some dish or what's in some sauce. I, I just, you know, well, I, I generally know what I can and can't eat. And then when we'd go out to parties, I'd sometimes drink cheap frat party beer because it, it seemed more important to me at the time to, to be doing that and not missing out. And although I completely understand that feeling of missing out on what other people in your life are doing and, and that important part, it's not worth it to cheat on the diet. And so after about 15 months, I really wised up and got my act together and, and stopped cheating on the diet, stopped drinking gluten-filled beer and really tightened it up again. So I was dating Amy. It was early on in my career. I'd moved companies once or twice and hadn't found anything I was passionate about. And after Ryan's diagnosis, we both agreed that the gluten-free beer offerings at the time were lacking. And we got into home brewing and thought, man, what if we could brew a better tasting, naturally gluten-free beer? We had to learn how to brew beer before we brewed a great tasting beer, let alone a gluten-free one. But we were totally intrigued by the idea, ultimately fell in love with the process, and Orox Brewing Company was born.
Today we're so fortunate to be growing this brewery, brewing over 40 different styles of naturally gluten-free beer. We've won four national awards. We're expanding into new states and everything we brew is completely and 100% naturally gluten-free. We consider our gluten-free integrity beyond reproach. We do everything with that naturally gluten-free customer in mind. But that said, we brew beer everybody can enjoy because there are just some occasions in life that call for a beer. And our goal is to bring people back to the table so that they can enjoy not only the beer and the food, but the experiences that, that make life special. And we're excited to keep doing that.